wake up. It's time to wake up. Everything you think is real is actually an interpretation created by your mind. To wake up is to see clearly that who you think you are is a story made up completely in your mind. It's a very compelling story because you've been writing it and believing in it from a very young age. But it wasn't always this way. Reflect back on your two-year-old version of you prior to the story of you gaining traction. Who were you? What did you believe? What did you think about things? When you were two years old, did you carry around a story of who you were? Did you assign meaning and purpose to everything? Did you even interpret the day's events through the filter called me? If you were to really merge with the clear, storyless version of you that you were back then, you would wake up. You would have an awakening. Liberation would ensue if you were to stabilize in this storyless space of pure, unfiltered reality. Unfiltered by the layers of mind that automatically assign meaning and purpose. And seem to all refer back to a central location called me. So how then to shed the layer of mind called me? Look into your direct experience, right now. When you hear my words, you automatically assume that this me character is the one listening. But that is just a thought. A thought in and of itself cannot hear anything. thought in and of itself cannot experience anything. What is really here? Without making any assumptions, what is really here? Listening to these words. If you're honest, you'll recognize that it is just consciousness interpreting sound vibrations. These sound vibrations are not flowing from somewhere external to you, entering into your ears and being interpreted by your mind. This is simply the explanation consciousness is creating in order to make sense of all of this. To wake up means we stop trying to make sense of anything. 
We just experience things in their raw, uninterpreted state. All you can truly say about any of this is that whatever is happening is happening in your consciousness. To even say, your consciousness, is still a result of this me creeping in the back door of your mind. Truly, it is just consciousness. Each time you notice this me creeping in, kick it out. This me sense is not your friend. It's not your enemy either. It's just an unnecessary artifact of consciousness. Not only is it unnecessary, but for most people, it's detrimental, limiting, and constricting. It's the limiter of your sense of freedom. It limits your capacity for joy and dampens your love. It doesn't do these things to harm you. The mind is a very useful tool when used rightly. The mind, when used rightly, can build a rocket ship and land it on the moon. The mind is great for calculating the angular velocity of a wave, but utterly useless and further a hindrance when surfing and attempting to ride that wave. For that, presence is required. The experience of life is much more like riding a wave than analyzing it. Raw presence is the awakened state. Raw presence is what you are when the story of me ceases. To enter into this raw presence, the awakened state, it is not necessary to stop all thoughts. Simply understand that thoughts have nothing to do with you. They are just constantly script writing Raw reality is always right here, even while thoughts are writing their story about it. The trick then is to simply become disinterested in what the thoughts are saying. And instead turn your attention wholly to just what is in each present moment. Like you did back when you were two years old, when everything was new and novel, bright and vibrant, interesting and fresh. Embody a sort of innocent curiosity. What is this? Not what does this mean, but actually, what really is this? When you hear my voice, what actually is this? When you look at anything, what is this? 
when you look at yourself in the mirror, what is this? When you ask yourself, what is this? You're not trying to get an answer. You're simply becoming raw and open. You're simply noticing what actually is. You're beginning to experience things freshly in their raw, uninterpreted state. If you practice this for even a short while, you'll notice thoughts begin to arise less and less frequently. This is just a side effect of you turning your attention away from their incessant narrative. You can pick thought up. You can pick thought up whenever you need it. It will always be there. What often happens, however, is you'll begin to realize that you need the thinking, analytical mind less and less, even for tasks that you once thought required a heightened degree of cognitive manipulation. You'll find yourself far more effective acting on intuition and spontaneity. So what are you waiting for? Did a thought just arise? Did the me just creep back in, thinking it's going to get something? This me thinks it's going to get an awakening. But the me is a thought, and a thought cannot get anything. Therefore, the me can never get presence. You are already presence. This me is the dream you're waking up from. Anytime this me creeps back into the back door of your mind, become aware of it. As you become aware of it, you're entering back into presence. It's time now to wake up from the story of me and reignite the flame of pure, luminous presence. I encourage you to sit for the next two minutes and just watch this me thought arise. It will inevitably return. But if you remain vigilant and dispel it each time it creeps back in, you stand a great chance of awakening by the end of this video. Exactly two minutes from now, I'll play a chime. Until then, remain here. Just for the next two minutes, in the luminous radiance of pure presence.
Mountain Duke.